no idea what's going on, but I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I let's rumble. He's like, bring it. Hey guys, welcome to back to the Nathan Races of my mind, and wow, I botched my own intro. I'm not doing it over. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at something that I've already begun playing a little bit ago. It's called Star Ocean The Divine Force. Now, if you remember in my last update video, I was talking about trying this out just for the channel. Like I said, I've already played this, but I still wanted to show it off because it's actually a really good anime style RPG. That intro probably made you think otherwise, but I digress. This is actually a really good game. <laughs> but yeah, um, let's start a new game. This right back. Ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But... If only those dreamers knew what I know now. That humankind harbors a voracious hunger. One not even the limitless cosmos can sate. <sighs> Another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Not gonna lie. Yes, I suppose as much as I love a lot of the Star Ocean games, coffee, the characters look like Don't toys. Yourself, uh, Captain, seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey, danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> For real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. What, <laughs> sir? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about that. See, this is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. <laughs> that is not correct. Scanning craft. Verified. Pan Galactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Uh, I think they're aiming at us. Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. <laughs> Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Huh? Shields holding at 78%. Why are Patch they Patch a signal this? through. Tell them we're not hostile, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. That's never a good sign. With as much sci-fi I've watched over the years, thanks to my dad forced me to watch Star Trek, I know, that's not a good sign. Ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait, we must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are feds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. The 
this job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders. Evacuate immediately. Got a loose end to tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Not to come off as insulting, like I said earlier. I, they all kind of give off this doll-like vibe for their faces. I don't have a problem with that, but to everybody else, it's going to look probably weird. How hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? She said, Scoop! Get show it! Elena! The crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Computer. Number and location of all ejected pots. According to the latest records, nine of the 49 escape pots have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars, who first gazed up at it, dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How could they? Ray, Elena, I'm so scared. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course, fourth planet of the Aster Star System, warp 2.1. Estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this. But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger. That bottomless greed that drives them. And they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be Chloe. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness. Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... She's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hides, huh? We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster star system. dreamers knew what I know now that you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back ain't that the truth arriving on Aster 4 planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft initiating emergency protocol just be safe Threat signal activated all right Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. Current mission is freaking killing me. Could do with a stretch. 
One more thing I almost forgot. If you're playing this on the PlayStation 5 like I am, you'll feel every time the character walks or runs. You can actually feel it in the controller, but uh, enough about that. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. Computer? Give me all known locations of Vita's crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. Huh? The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother. Antonio Lawrence and be quick about it attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence captain of the merchant vessel Aldous come on, come on. Ooh, Kang if you're watching this don't watch this part <laughs> Whoa. You there take this Whoa, whoa lady A death wish to arms. I'm not gonna lie, chakrams are actually a very nice weapon. No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I right, let's rumble. He's like, bring it. There we go. The thing about this battle system, it has an AP system, but I'll explain more later. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you... Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond, it's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in. I knew you weren't alone. <laughs> Show yourself. Huh? Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence. Step into the light. Hey, asshole, harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet's scorched earth, you hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. Uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess. If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on, do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. See, she's the smart one. Why, thank you, milady. And uh, as for your butler or whatever, mind telling him to back it up? How dare you? As you wish, we shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay, sounds like we got a deal. Feds don't know, can't hurt him. Antonio? It's me, Raymond. Oh, Ray, are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere too, but I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice, that one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land on one condition. 
you answer my question? Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler! Albert! Your comrades, have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of them. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? She's so precious! <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent! Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edith. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Only the Medum ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness. Thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. <laughs> Love of. Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. Is that clear? As you wish. Awesome. Hey, Antonio, we'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. Nice to know in the future we still have smartphones. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. Why can't my phone do that? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait, no more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> All right, uh, Ray. Awesome. Okay, let's move. So yeah, that's our mission right now. Find our friends. Won't be that hard. I'm probably not going to play too much. I'll just get to the uh, area where I need to and then go from there. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, this combat system works on the AP system. As long as you have enough AP, you can actually keep going. But that's not that big a deal. And if you do things properly, battles don't take too long. Been a while since I've swung a sword around, but... Modern RPG, switch partners with your friends. Say, so I punch and I slash. But yeah, your dash is infinite. Is indefinite, so you don't have to worry about like being tired off jump. See, switch. I'm out of, I'm out of AP. Sweet, let's go. <laughs> oh, campfire. Actually, I forgot you can rest here. Good idea. About time for a rest. And let go. <laughs> Everything in this game is actually pretty fast, so you don't have to worry about much. Got it. Let's go. Stairs are out. I'm gonna have to take another route. These stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. And perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? And away I go! So break things! I actually like Raymond as a character. He's actually really cool. Granted, he looks like one of those modern, well, 
I want to say he's kind of made like one of those templates of modern JRPG heroes now. Can't jump there. Which isn't a problem, honestly. Wee. Okay. Going up that way. It. It. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, I love the switching, but I know it's a lot, so <laughs> stay focused, Mephi. <laughs> Woo! Anyway. So, this is Madoom, huh? It's friggin' massive. Ancient and powerful Osirian Semiel. It is actually a very big place, which is not a bad thing. But, like I said, with how you move, this game goes by really fast. Let's focus on getting in and getting out. I can see why they're called ruins. It doesn't even look like we can get through. How long has it been since this place received visitors? Traversal All right, will undoubtedly be treacherous. I've got you two here to show me the way. Though we are familiar with the area, this is our first time actually being here. Tread carefully. You can also, like normal RPGs, find stuff around the area that's going to make things easier. But yeah. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, left to fend for themselves, huh? I don't want to train harder. I'm out of juice. There we go. I love how everybody can just mad dash. They gotta go. Yep. Gotta turn around for a split sec. Mm. So it falls to me. Not with my promise left unfulfilled. Everybody actually seems to be very well managed. Well not well managed, like evenly managed. Seriously, chakrams are dope weapons. I'm just afraid to use them because, let's be honest, I suck at throwing things in real life. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Detecting escape pod signal above current position. No passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Sweet. Make sure there's no more items here. I'm kind of just rushing through this, but it's really not that hard to do. I mean, with the way the momentum feels in this game, it's not that bad. Whew. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside.
please, please, please be okay. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. Uh, what is it? Elena, why? Ray. Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in a damn escape pod? <laughs> Some captain I am. Ray! Duma production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Lifeforms in need of protection. Whoa, hey, what the heck's this? She slid in quick! Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. Engaging defensive mode. Shut your stupid! Are you all right? He said back up! <laughs> but what? What is this? Later. Right now we we've got company. How bear ran up in there quickly like, feel back up! <laughs> Alright, this is actually one of the main gimmicks of the game, the Duna system. It's very useful. Observe after I get out of this. Yeah! I can rush people. It's very useful in battle, as long as you have the juice for it. Blindside is also very important too in this game because if you do it properly, you can actually increase your AP gauge while you're fighting. See? Blindside is very useful. Mmm! It's like doing it just latches on and say, Yeah! <laughs> Alright, forgot, boss. Decided to bring out the big guns, huh? Stay sharp. Now I admit, when I first fought this thing, I almost got washed. However, like most um, bosses in certain games, you can target different weak points. That being said, come on. There we go. Get it to me. One. Well, yeah. For real, the hell is this? I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? Oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. Why, it is... Just marvelous! Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology? Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? 
What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? Is I didn't think of that. To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. Oh, you think us liars? I mean, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. Ugh, morning already? Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new, something extraordinary. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys are interested, this does have a demo plus last I check. Oh wait, you can't even see me. Plus last I checked on GameStop, it's currently on sale for twenty nine ninety nine. So if you want to check it out, by all means, I suggest playing the demo first, seeing if you like it. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, because I know I did. You guys have a good one. Hey, thanks again for sticking around all the way to the end of the video. It really does help. If you want updates on future videos and stuff like that, links down in my description where it tells you about my Twitter as well as my Discord. If you want to see anything else from me, here is a playlist of the most recent series that I've finished. And this right here is the most recent video that I've done too. Take care.